Torres is looking to. Ladies and gentlemen, keep now on his way to the ring, please welcome Stephen Clubber Langley. And up next, next for about 10, four rounds of light heavyweight. This should be a very entertaining matchup. These guys are evenly matched. They're evenly matched, so let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent now making his way to the ring. Please welcome Scotty Bombs. Let's get the official announcement of both these fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest is scheduled for four rounds in the light heavyweight division. Your referee in charge of the action is Marcel Varela. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. Wearing black with purple and weighing in a trim and ready 174 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, three victories, one defeat with two big wins by way of knockout. Coming to us from a cushion at Massachusetts, please welcome Stephen Clover Langlis. And his opponent across the ring, boxing out of the red corner to my right. <laughs> Wearing black trunks with white lettering and weighing in at 178 and a half pounds. In his two victories, he's won both by way of knockout. And come to us from Dover, New York. Please welcome Scotty Bombs Lampard. <laughs> Referee Marcel Varela with the final word. Just look at the numbers. Right, As we see, everything looks very rules. even. I would like these guys to try to establish his jabs and see and who will be the better man tonight. Yeah, let's see if the younger... <laughs> Steven can out hustle the shorter Scott. And I've seen both guys compete before. Straight forward, just like this. They're going to stand there and fight. Oh, they're going at it, yeah. The, the, the interesting thing here is Scott Lampert. Yes. He has yet to go to distance. Oh, wow. He got two wins. He scored two knockouts. He oh. got three losses. He was knocked out three times. Oh, wow. He's so yet to go to distance. And again, sometimes you get these evenly matched on paper fights. They turn out to be good fights. Yes, they do. They do. As of right now, you know, they're they're fighting. Good body shots. In a fight like this, you you can't expect or you shouldn't expect good technique. You just expect what you see a fight. I expect what you see with the fight. You know, they're not they're not polished fighters. They're in there, you know, to um, you know, try to make nice some, left hook to the body. Trying to make something out of nothing, you know. They're fighting. It's a good scrap, you know. Nice stiff jab by by Scott. I think the win. The, nice body shot. The, I think conditions then play a big role. 
Langlaris is now starting to back up Scott Lampert. It's certainly give and take so far in this first round. Yes, you give me, I give you, yeah, you give and I give in. They're going at it. I would like I would like to see both fighters to go go more to the body. Could I can't be asking for too much now. Yeah, they, had, <laughs> <laughs> they, they they got they, you know, they received their both best shots to the head, so So know. so it's safe to say they got a granite chin? They got a granite chin. <laughs> But although I, I'm a big, big believer in sweet science, yes, I do appreciate fights like this occasionally. Yes. Twenty seconds remaining. In fights like this, forget the head movement, forget the lateral movement. It's just a stand there and fight. A fight. <laughs> They're just fighting in there, you know. Sometimes with the fans, you know, want to see. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you got to give them what they want sometimes. Yeah. Good even first round. Very, very good even first round. Just like, yeah, very, 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 very even. So let's get them some insight here. What, what can, what can both guys do differently well, this in is terms of winning? Because right now, it's just you know, who's going to hit who more? There's a, there's a lot I could say they could do differently, but the, the main thing I could say for these fighters, the main thing I could say for these fighters is, is you know, to uh, establish more body shots and be more tricky in there instead of just going straight to the target. That's the most different thing I could say. Yeah, because headshots are headshots. Yes. You know, if a guy can take a headshot, he'd take it all day. I remember a boxing, um, Antonio Mayorga. Mm-hmm. Took it to the chin all day. Hit him to the body here for. Exactly. And that's what I like to see from these fighters. Go to the body a bit more. We'll, we'll see who's been doing the crunches or not. Start around two. And it starts off the same way round one started. Oh, Steve mm. shook up Scott. Yes, he did. That left hook. Ooh. And they nice. go left hook by Scott. Yeah, nice counter. They're going at it. Yeah, I haven't seen the body shot. There we there go. There you go. Two. Two of them. Steven Le Langlais. A nice left hook. Nice, nice right, right hand. Right hand. And Just and missed, though. And a nice body shot right after that. Nice uppercut by Scott Lampert. Another left hook that he lands. But if you watch, Scott Lampert is being pushed back every time he gets hit. Yes. Whereas Steven Langlais is not moving backwards when he gets hit. Not at all. Steven Langlais gets a nice right hand. He's nice got body moving. shot. He's moving him with those shots. Good body nice shot. Left hook. And he's flat for the both guys are fighting fighting flat but for the which means they're getting power into those shots. Nice stiff jab by Steve. Take one thing, Lamper got a got a good chin. He got his chin up in the air and he's getting hit with big shots. Yeah, he's standing straight up. Although his hands his hands are up, yeah. his chin is still up. He just took a deep breath. Good body shot. Nice straight right hand by Steven. But of course, body shot Lampert again. is fighting back. Good body shot. Good body, body shot. Yeah. Set him on a rope. Set yeah. him down. Set him down with that body shot. You got to look at the referee. Pay attention. He's trying to buy as much time as possible. Let's see if he goes back to the body. Oh, oh. nice body shot, shot by Nice body shot. He's not going to beat the count on this he's body not, shot no, because no. he caught him perfect. Perfectly, yep. 
Now, now you definitely know who's been doing the crunches or not. Yeah, he's not going to get up. Yeah, he's not going to get up. Now, like I said, if they went to the body, this fight would uh, get end because they both took the shots to the chin and the body told the difference. And you see how <laughs> Scott <laughs> Lampert laying over the ropes. But listen, true to form, he still has yet to go the distance. Still yet has to go the distance. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. He still has yet to go the distance. Yeah, well. I have to do my homework when I get back home to figure out if there's anybody that ever finished their career and never went the distance. Wow. That's why. Right. That's all. I want to check that. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That'd be a really good one. I'll be surprised who, who it would be. Either he scored a knockout or he getting knocked out, but he's not going to the final bell. There got to be somebody there. there has to I'm going to find out. <laughs> but listen, it's not as if he took a. He didn't fight. He came. He fought. Yeah, he fought. He tried and he fought back, and it was. It was very entertaining. It was very entertaining watching this fight. The first round was very entertaining. They went back and forth, and um, it was fun. Yeah, listen, he stood up. It's just after that first round. Now, let's get a ring announcement. Make it official. Two minutes, 37 seconds of the second round. Referee Marcel Varela stops his contest. Your winner by TKO victory, Stephen Clover Langlis. Ten down, three to go. So up next is a six-round welterweight bout to the young man from Boca Raton, Florida. All right, I'm here with Stephen Clubber Langless, victorious via second-round KO tonight. Clubber, you had to weather an early storm. They call him Scotty Bombs Lampert. He was throwing plenty of bombs in round one. What was round one like, and what was the game plan like heading into round two? I knew he had power. Um, I just wanted to test his cardio. So I figured start touching that body a little bit. You know, absorb a lot of his punches and let him gas himself out. It was two knockdowns in the second round that led to the end of the fight. Was it the body shots that let you know you could find his range? Yeah, I, I could tell every time I touched that body, there was a little bit, something a little different. And when he went down that first time, I already had it planned. I do it to all the guys in the gym. I faint in overhand and just rip that body in. He fell for it like 90% of the guys in the gym, and it worked. Well, you'll be back in the ring soon. Stephen Clubber Langless, everyone, victorious for your second round KO tonight. So that was a. You just heard from the winner, happy winner. And he should be happy. Um, not much skills, but he, he overpowered his opponent. And that's what you, you know, you want exactly. when you have these matchups. Now making his way to the ring, please welcome Juan yes, Jesus Rivera Garces. Yeah, he overpowered it, and he made some great adjustments by going to the body, and he saw that, you know, the headshots wasn't going to um, finish the fight. So he went to the body, and he saw success there, and he got what he wanted. So up next we have, as I said, six rounds welterweight. So Castro, young man.